Hi, my name's Carol Clark and I'm a designer for Craft Shoe Print and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my gift wallet cards and this is the one we're going to make a birthday one. It's a card and it's got a little wallet on the inside to take a gift. This could be money or theatre tickets or it could even be a gift card, whatever you like really. Put a little love note in there. Now then, as I show you the tools we're going to use, we need a bone folder a pair of scissors, a scoring tool, a ruler, and some double-sided tape. And this is the, the sheet as it comes from craftsyprint.com. And this one's cup number 147051 underscore 359. And you'll need to print it out onto either thick paper or, or thin card, which is what I've done here. And on the sheet itself, you'll see that there are registration marks. There are two sets a third of the way down the sheet, and there are two at the top of the sheet. If we do those a third of the way down first, and we'll take the ruler and the scoring tool, and I'm going to line the ruler up along the registration marks and score along, and then move it to the second set, and again line it up and score along. Now then, the others are for, for the flap at the side, and we're going to follow the line of the card down and the registration mark at the top. So again, I'm going to line the ruler up and score down, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. And there we go. The next thing we need to do is to take the scissors and to cut it out. And this is a really quick and simple card to make. It's not only a card, but of course you've got the wallet on the inside, so you've got the two things in one. The lines are mostly straight, so it's really easy to cut out. In fact, children would absolutely love making these, and I think they'd make great sellers at craft fairs and um, bazaars, maybe spring fairs, something like that. I've done Christmas ones, so they would be great at Christmas fairs. In fact, I've done wedding ones. There are some that say it's a gift on them. And if there are any particular ones that you would like, if you let me know, leave me a, a note on the forum, and I'll have a look at what I can do for you. I've nearly got it cut out now. Not using any particularly special scissors for this just normal sharp ones. There. Now then, with the lines that we scored earlier, I'm going to fold it along those and using the bone folder I'm going to give a good sharp crease along the edge and then I'm going to fold the bottom one in as well and do the same again. And then I'm going to fold in the flaps that make the wallet onto the side as well. Now I'm going to use the double sided tape. I've got quite a thin one here. And I'm going to tear off just a small amount. It doesn't have to go the full length of the flap because you're not going to put anything too small in the, in the pocket so it's not going to fall out. And I have to do the same on the other side. Now I am putting it towards the edge of the card because that makes for a much neater finish. So it's right on this edge here. Now then. This is the most difficult part of it, and that's taking the back off of the double-sided tape. Obviously, you can take more time than this. Nearly got it, there we go. And then it's just a matter of folding in the flap and sticking down the double-sided tape and then folding down the top part of the card. And there we have it finished. That was quick and easy, wasn't it? And as I said before, I've made lots of others. There are Christmas ones. There's another Christmas one there. There's another birthday one there. And there we have a wedding one as well. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to make one of these cards for yourself, then just go to www.craftsyprint.com forward slash Carol Clark. And I hope to see you next time on Craft TV. Bye!